my name is Ashley Collins. Welcome to my YouTube channel, The Breakup Diaries. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for being present. Thank you so much for viewing in general. I know right now we're all so fucking crazy and chaotic with the fucking holidays around the fucking corner from us, but I appreciate you spending that time with me or whatever day that ends with a Y. Maybe you're watching this after Christmas has passed, which would be great. Thank you for doing that. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of negativity when it comes to the holidays. Like if you type it in right now on Google or on YouTube, <laughs> everyone has their two cents on why they hate Christmas. I mean, first of all, like December is more than just Christmas, but um, it's the most commercialized out of all of it. But we're not going to go into the rabbit hole <laughs> of how they profit off of our stress. We're not going to talk about that right now. I want to get you back into the Christmas spirit. And um, I think that pessimism can be a good thing. I'm going to say that again. I think that pessimism can be a good thing, which is weird coming from someone like me. But pessimism is good because that means you have a problem, which is good because... <laughs> This sounds so fucking backwards. But if you have a problem, that means that there's a solution. If you have a problem, that means that there's an opportunity to shift your mindset to positive. Okay? Um, so I want you to sit back with yourself and analyze what was the moment, what was the age that you stopped enjoying the holidays? I know that... Um, most of my life, I always enjoyed Christmas because I, I just loved being surrounded by my family. Um, we have this awesome tradition where we go to my mom's house for breakfast and we open presents. Or they come to my mom's house for, pre for, for Christmas morning and we have breakfast. We open presents, we listen to music, it's a good time. And then in the evening, we go to my aunt's house and we play spades, we eat dinner, and uh, we watch football or basketball, whatever's on that evening. <laughs> I know that... I remember exactly, oh, I remember exactly the moment it was ruined for me is when I started working in theme parks. Working in theme parks, you have to always be on. And I'm going to make a video about about this later on, elaborating further about why I fucking hate working in theme parks. But um, you always have to be on all the time where um, you're never off stage. You always have to be smiling. You have to always be fucking energetic. And it's exhausting after a while. It's exhausting having to put on this front that I'm okay. I'm great. I'm not worried. I'm not worried about like I haven't gotten my Christmas shopping done yet. I'm not worried that me and my boyfriend just got in a fight. My family's not fighting right now. Like you, <laughs> you have to like pretend that everything's okay when it's not. And I didn't enjoy that. Um, so that was what ruined the holidays for me. That's what, that's what killed my holiday spirit. But I got out. I got out of theme parks and I'm happier now. Um, <laughs> so sit back with yourself and analyze what changed your holiday mood. I think that Christmas is more than just for fucking kids. I think that we're, we're allowed to fucking enjoy it. We're adults now. I, I can't believe that people are honestly complaining about having to go to holiday parties. I can't believe it. I would fucking love to go to a holiday party right now for free. <laughs> people are like sending me invites to stuff and I'm like, I'm broke guys. Like I can't get anything. <laughs> Like I worked at an event last night for a holiday Christmas party and everyone was just so like, it was so funny. Like everyone was like trying to one up each other. And I'm like, can you guys just not enjoy like the spirit, the energy that's in the room right now? Like there was live music, there was free food, there was free drinks. Like I, I had a couple of free drinks uh -huh. and I got this awesome horse. <laughs> I got this awesome horse. I'm gonna try and hide the logo so people don't take down this video. But it made me really happy. And it wasn't even my event. I was just getting paid to be there. Um, okay, so yeah, I appreciate the little things. When it comes to your holiday shopping list, which I think is the, the biggest stress for everyone, because we want to get everyone something, but you don't have to get everyone something. Make your list, make your list, okay, and see who you can get a Christmas card for. Um there's nothing wrong with Christmas cards. Unless, um, it's not tacky. What I like to do is I, I like to put personalized messages. Notice what I said there. I put personalized messages in my Christmas cards. Not just saying like, hope, hope you have a Merry Christmas, signed Ashley. No, I want, I write out how you make me feel. Thank you so much for being my friend or my family member. Thank you for loving me. Like write them, a, write them a paragraph. There's, people appreciate handwritten stuff because things are so fast now things are like we, you can easily text someone or call someone but people appreciate how you make them how you make them feel how precious precious how precious you are to them so write that out for them so that 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 way they can look at it throughout the year okay another thing that I do is um I like to think practical gifts I don't 
Um, I try not to get perfume scented stuff because like people are very sensitive to smells and stuff like that Unless I know that they like that particular scent like I if I know they like love spell love spell I'm gonna get them a love spell gift set. Okay. Um, I like to get people things that they're gonna use throughout the year um, I remember uh one Christmas, I got a pillow. Oh, I don't have that pillow anymore. <laughs> it was when, when, on my college, Florida State. It was a Florida State pillow. And I was so happy because I was like, thank you for, first off, remembering that I went to Flo that I go to Florida State. And secondly, I do need a pillow for my bed because <laughs> my bed is very uncomfortable, you know? And I think it's those little things, like ob observing, observing, watching people throughout the year to see, okay, what is it, what is it that, about them that I can give them that they may think that I might have missed, okay? Another thing to get yourself in the holiday spirit is create a playlist. And it doesn't even have to contain Christmas music because apparently right now people are getting really offended and irked by Christmas music. But yo, add some fucking trap music on your playlist, <laughs> which sounds so silly, but... <laughs> I have a playlist to get me hype, and it has, like, Nicki Minaj, it has Cardi B, it has Beyonce, and I'm just like, yo, like, this is my Christmas playlist now, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna play this every fucking Christmas from, from now fucking on. <laughs> Another thing that you can do is surround yourself with the holiday colors, whatever, um, whatever that is, like, for me, like, I'm wearing my green and I'm wearing my lights, <laughs> even though they're kind of broken, <laughs> But it just reminds me to, to like appreciate this month because it only happens, Christmas only happens once a year. And I think that <laughs> we waste so much time being stressed. We're going to kill ourselves over our stress. And it's like, like we're holding our breath all of December because it's like, oh, I can't wait for this fucking holiday to be over because I have to like, I have to clean the house. I have to cook dinner. I have to buy all these gifts. But it's like, you never know. We're living like we're never going to fucking die. Like, do, do we realize that? We're living like we're never going to die. We're living like every tomorrow is automatically guaranteed. This might be our last Christmas. This might be someone's last Christmas. And I don't, I don't say that to p put anyone in a panic. I don't want to put anyone into panic or anxiety mode. I, I want you to appreciate those words. Appreciate that moment with the individual. Christmas is not about, or any holiday, it's not about giving gifts. It's not about the dollar amount that you spend on someone. It's saying that, hey, I appreciate you. I appreciate this time that we spend together. I appreciate that I even fucking know you. I appreciate that I, I get to fucking exist with you right now. And I think that's the kind of holiday cheer we need to give to each other. Um... Also, there's nothing wrong with getting yourself a Christmas present. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Like, we, we work so hard all year long, and I don't know who the fuck invented the calendar. I don't give a fuck who invented the fucking calendar. But I think that it's kind of genius how they put all these holidays towards the end of the year. Because maybe, just maybe, just maybe, they thought, maybe, and, and this is not... This is not a real life thing, but this is what I, this is the perspective that I choose to have in, in my everyday life. Maybe they put all these holidays at the end of the year to say that, hey, this first half of the year is going to fucking suck. You're going to be so stressed out, but you need to remember, you need to have just these three months of gratitude, these three months of kind of escape for yourself. Oh, did you hear that? Huh, that was like an aha kind of thing. So why don't we just take these three months to appreciate those around us. And then hopefully it evolves and emerges to every single day for the rest of our lives. Um, I took notes uh, per usual, per usual. Um, look at the lights, look at the lights. <laughs> I can't um, really decorate this house that I'm living in because <laughs> I have roommates, but there's this neighborhood in my, in my city where, <laughs> and it's so strange, it's so strange, it's so fucking awesome, but um, this neighborhood, everyone decorates their house, and it's it's so beautiful, it's so huge, it's like fucking Disney, and um, people drive around their cars very slowly, very slowly, very respectfully, like they had their, their music blasting with Christmas music, and people were just waving at each other and smiling at each other, and we're just all looking at the lights, and it's beautiful. And I, I recommend that you do that with, with your family and your friends, just drive around and look at the lights. And smile at someone and wave at someone. Something that I like to do in my everyday life is I may not be able to give a lot because I don't have much. But whenever I make eye contact with someone, I smile at them. I do. 
<laughs> this is like, this is not fake, this is not a lie, this is not false news. I do this every day in my life. When I make eye contact with you, I try to, I try, try, try my hardest to just smile. And it lets my body know that everything's going to be okay. Smiling, smiling is a very, very, very powerful method that you can do to um, slowly overcome anxiety and depression. Um, very slowly. It's, it's just one small tactic out of many things that you can do. Um, hmm. I think the greatest thing that we can do is just to be civil and respectful to other people. Particularly during the holidays. When you, wait, while you were waiting in that long ass line trying to check out and shit, try to put yourself in the cashier's shoes or the person behind you shoes. They're going through the exact same thing as you. They're just as stressed as you are, but they're just showing it differently. They're just wearing it differently. And I think if we kept that in mind, we'd be a lot more empathetic with other people and we'd be a lot, we'd slow down a lot more as well. Um, there's so many people trying to one-up each other with Christmas gifts, but if you're putting that pressure on yourself, and it's so, it's, I'm like, I feel like I'm like, I'm like, I'm getting something here. Like, I'm fucking getting something here. We're allowing other people to put stress on ourselves, but it's our fault. It's our fault that we're doing that to ourselves. No one else is saying that you have to buy every single person in your family a gift. Skip Aunt Jane. Just fucking skip her. <laughs> like, <laughs> like she, and she shouldn't take it personally. Get her a fucking card or just fucking skip her in general. Like, you're putting that pressure on yourself. And I really like I I oh, and I feel like that's like a that's kind of heavy, but it's true. We only have this this holiday once a year. We only put this pressure on ourselves every year, and then we say that oh I hate Christmas. It's your fault that you hate Christmas. No one else did that but you. Try to shift your perspective. Try to shift your mindset. Try to look forward to this holiday season. Thank you so much for viewing. Thank you so much for watching. Did you see the logo? You can, I mean, it's kind of obvious. It's kind of obvious what kind of horse this is with its cape and stuff like that. <laughs> appreciate today. Appreciate every day. Appreciate someone this holiday season. Try to give back. It may, it may be not in a dollar amount, but in the whatever kind of expression that you can. Thank you so much. Ciao. Be nice to someone. Oh, um, oh, I had to do the ask. Subscribe if you want to. You don't have to, though. No, fuck. I'm not going to re-record this, but you should subscribe to me because because <laughs> I'm nice. I don't know. Fuck. I'm going to get better at this, guys. I swear I'm going to get better at this. <laughs> you should follow me on social media, though. My handle is the Aunt of Dragons on everything. You can add me on Facebook. It's going to take me a while to add you back, but I will add you back. I don't know why I skip over that. I just... Oh, can I just, I just really want to delete Facebook and Snapchat so fucking bad. <laughs> but I'm I only want to delete it because um, I'm looking at too much negativity on Facebook. So I, I need to filter that. That's my fault. I need to filter out the negativity on my Facebook. And I'm not utilizing Snapchat the right way. I'm still trying to fucking figure it out. But um, cool. Oh, on my Snapchat, <laughs> if you want to add me, it's here for the wine. Here for the D-A wine. I can't change my handle name. Don't judge me. Um, <laughs> Happy holidays, guys. You'll be seeing a lot more of me. This is just the fucking beginning.